Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and of course to another video. If you are new, my name is Jordan and I'm so happy to have you here today. Today we are sitting down and I'm going to be talking about all the things I have been loving lately. So I've compiled a list of my favorite fashion pieces, products, and everything in between. So we're just going to be going through everything one by one and I will also have all the links down below if you guys are interested. Fingers crossed I can find all the links to everything I'm mentioning in this video. I will try my very best. And before we hop into it, if you're not already subscribed, make sure to do so. I'm participating in Vlogmas this year. I've been working really, really hard on all my videos. I'm literally filming and editing every single day. Also, I will have all of my socials down below, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all of the above in the down bar if you guys are interested. And without further ado, let's hop into the products. The very first product I wanna talk about is my favorite perfume at the moment. I don't know about any of you, but there is almost nothing better than being complimented on how you smell. And I have been getting so many compliments whenever I wear this perfume, which makes me feel incredible. So I wanted to share it with you guys. So I actually have two different perfumes I've been loving. These are both from the brand Dossier. Let me just tell you, these smell incredible. They are like a dupe for higher end perfumes. So if you don't feel like spending a ton of money on a perfume, this is a great alternative. The perfumes range anywhere from $29 to $39, which is an amazing deal for a luxury dupe. So the two I've been loving is Oriental Oak Moss and Floriental Vanilla. So these are what the perfume bottles look like. They're very sleek. I don't know, I just love the look of these perfumes and they look so nice if you put them on display. They look extremely luxurious and rich and these smell amazing and I've gotten so many compliments whenever I wear them and they actually last really long so you only need like two sprays to last you an entire night. All of the scents that Dossier offers are inspired by higher end luxury perfumes which is even more incredible so these have seriously been my new favorite and I will have a link down below if you want to check them out another thing I've really been loving is the lipstick I'm actually wearing today so this is the Revlon color burst lip butter in the color raspberry pie so it's like this really beautiful pinkish raspberry color hence why it's called raspberry pie but I just think it's such a stunning color it's definitely different than your traditional like winter lip color usually during the winter months people gravitate more towards like wine colored lips and more of like that vampy look but I think this is just so stunning for the winter you can wear this year round but I just have been loving this as of late and I've had this bad boy for probably two to three years so definitely one of my faves and also it is a drugstore brand so it's extremely inexpensive another beauty fave I've been absolutely loving are these false lashes from the brand Majosi I'm just gonna show you in the box so they are a very dramatic look these are going to be incredible for when I return to eye shows because they are very bold very very bold but honestly I would wear these for maybe like New Year's or any special occasion event I feel like these would be so beautiful to add to any makeup look and these are reusable which is like a win-win moving on to a few fashion faves I have a few to talk about so the first thing is a pair of jeans I have been loving this trend of straight leg jeans and honestly I didn't know if I could pull it off because I'm so short I'm 5'1 for anyone who doesn't know and I feel like anything that isn't a skinny jean can definitely make me look shorter than I am but I found these jeans from a local boutique near my house and I'm absolutely obsessed I've been wearing them constantly and they're so comfy and just so flattering I will definitely have the link to these jeans down below but they do have some rip detailing in the knees and the thigh but it's not too too much as you can see it is like a light to medium wash and then there are also some fray detailing at the bottom of the jeans my next fashion fave are a pair of shoes I have been obsessed with these for months and months and months and I just had to share them with you guys so they are these high top vans but they're so cool because they have the world map on them so each side is a little bit different and they are like a canvas color so they're not completely white it's almost like an off-white or a cream and they do also have a zipper in the back so they're super easy to slide on and off you don't have to keep retying these shoes these are literally my favorite shoes people give me so many compliments on them and they're always asking where I got them and I actually got them at the Vans outlet for like 
15 bucks, maybe less. I don't know. This is one of my favorite purchases of 2020. Another fashion fave that I have been loving lately is this little headband from Lululemon. I believe I got this as a Christmas gift. I want to say like last year, maybe the year before. This keeps my head so nice and warm at skating. The rings are usually really cold, especially during the winter time. So I want to keep my head nice and warm. And there's nothing more annoying than buying a headband only to have it stretch out after one wash. And I've gotten so many headbands in the past that are just like way too loose. So there's really no purpose of wearing them when you're skating because they fall right off. But this one is so nice and fitted. It is also very stretchy. So if you have a bigger head, like it would stretch to fit. And I have a really small head and this fits me wonderfully. It does also have a little slit in the back of the headband for your ponytail. So if you are like a runner or something and this would be useful to you, you can just put your ponytail right through there and it will stay nice and secure. So I definitely think this is a great item to have for winter and really cute too because it's super sleek. I have another little hair care fave and they are just these little satin scrunchies. So I know that silk scrunchies are supposed to be amazing for your hair but these are satin and they are absolutely incredible. I feel as though even when I use scrunchies my hair still creases but with these it does not at all. I could have them up in a ponytail or a bun for hours and when I take it out there is no hair crease which is honestly so annoying when that happens so these have been a little game changer as of late and I love them. I do have one book recommendation so this is just Leave Your Mark by Eliza Licht. Licht? Licht? I don't know how to say her last name but this is just what the cover of the book looks like and it is like a self-care type of book. It's all about how to be successful in the fashion industry. So it says land your dream job, kill it in your career, rock social media. So this is right in my alley being someone who went to school for fashion and wants to pursue a career in fashion as well as being extremely involved with social media, YouTube, Instagram, the whole shebang. I highly, highly, highly recommend this book to anyone that wants any type of career in that industry. There are a ton of amazing tips and it's just a very informative book. So my next recommendation is a little bit random, but I promise it's not. It is quite relevant. So I've been taking biotin supplements for the past few months and I've really noticed a difference in my hair, my hair growth, my hair thickness, and the just overall health of my hair. So I just have the Nature Made Biotin capsules. So I take one every single day. You can also like up the ante and do two a day if you want, but like with adding anything new into your diet, you should definitely ease into it. So I just take one of these a day and I really struggled with hair loss and just overall thinning of my hair being on the ship so this has really helped kind of get my hair back to where it was. Also I do understand I bleach my hair so that doesn't help me by any means but I love my blonde locks so that's nothing I'm gonna give up. I want to do everything in my power to kind of counteract that though. On a totally different page I've also been loving this mug. I just got it from Target and it says bottoms up and it has Santa upside down going down the chimney. It's so festive, it's so cute. I've been drinking my coffee out of this almost every single morning and it was only $5 from Target. Target has the best mugs. I also do love the mugs at like TJ Maxx, but I always end up leaving with a new mug from Target. Like I have a mug collection and it's so cute and it also holds a lot of coffee. And if you know me, you know I love my coffee. So definitely been a fave this holiday season. This favorite is kind of festive as well, so it's just a candle. Of course, how could I go a favorites video without talking about a candle? So my favorite candle lately is this Bath & Body Works one. It's just the cinnamon caramel swirl. If you like the smell of like cookies or like sweet things, this is the candle you need. It literally smells so good, I want to like eat it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it is so delicious to smell. Oh my god. Like you can have this burning for five minutes and your whole room smells like it. I know not everyone loves super rich candles. They like a lighter, more airy and clean kind of scent. Definitely don't get this if that is you, but if you like the smell of like cinnamon rolls, go buy it. <laughs> so I do have one food favorite that I want to talk about briefly and that is these little fit and active rice cakes but they are the caramel corn flavor. These have been my favorite snack lately. They're so quick and easy to munch on especially if you're running out the door and you just need something fast. You just grab one of these and 
oh, it's so good. I love to put it in the toaster for like 30 seconds. You're really not supposed to toast them, but if you keep an eye on it, it's fine. So I pop this in the toaster for like 30 seconds and then I just put some peanut butter on top and because it's all warm, it melts the peanut butter and it's like the yummiest little snack. It's almost like dessert, but not. I don't have one on me right now, but I just had to mention my favorite Starbucks drink at the moment, and that is the chestnut praline latte. I do substitute it for almond milk, but this is the bee's knees, people, like the bomb diggity. It's so, so good. Tastes like Christmas. And I've tried it both hot and cold, and it is 12 out of 10 either way. So, how is it three o'clock and it's already dark out? Let me know. Another thing that I have been obsessed with as of lately is Miley Cyrus's new album, which is called Plastic Hearts, I want to say. Every single song on that album is so good. She absolutely killed it. Like, it's kind of like a punkish vibe, which is not my usual go-to listening, but it's so much fun. She's such a badass, and if you haven't listened to it, definitely go check it out. Um, it's literally been on repeat on my Spotify, like, non-stop. And the final favorite of this video is an app. <laughs> and you guys are gonna be like, well, duh. My favorite app as of lately has been TikTok. And I was one of those people that back in like March was like, I will never get TikTok. I think it's so stupid. Like, I don't even understand what it is. And I just downloaded it one day and haven't looked back since. If I get on TikTok, three hours of my day, poof, gone. Like, don't even know where it went. So, I literally have to turn off the notifications on TikTok so that I don't get tempted to go on it throughout the day. I have to try and limit myself how much I go on it, but if you guys want to follow me, I'm trying to get more active on TikTok and make more videos. I will have that down below. It's just JBouth, like all my other social media. Yeah, I'm still getting the hang of it, but... I love watching TikToks. I mean, who doesn't? But that is everything for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed my December favorites. I will have all the links or as many of them as I can find in the down bar if you are interested. Again, I won't get any commission for them. It's just to help you guys out and to give you guys recommendations. Of course, if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also turn on the bell notification so you are notified every time I upload a new video. I am uploading every day during Vlogmas at 10 a.m. Eastern time and then my normal upload schedule is Mondays and Fridays at 11 a.m. Eastern time. I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.